This is a seawall and dock inspection in Eastern Shores, uh, in Florida. And uh, today, today is the 4th of December, 2014. We're going to inspect the seawall and uh, the dock and look at the condition. Uh, this sir, inspection is provided by Simi Dive. We're going to start the inspection. Uh, just walk with me down here. Here it is. A little bit of a cap failure over here. The rebar is exposed and uh, looks like a, a separation right at the corner. There's a separation here. The actual top cap is broken. And there's the tieback exposed. It's, the tieback is actually still there. So that's a good thing, but probably it'd be a good idea to add another tieback or to beef up the cap a little bit. Here as well, you can see the tieback is exposed right there, and the cap is broken. There's numerous areas where there's soft spots along the cap. This is an original seawall, a two foot cap. Uh, 35 to 40 years old, and uh, we're going to find the, the ladder to go down into the water. It's here. So, we're going to begin the survey on the south side, working our way up north, looking at all the interesting things. Property, and you can see some concrete work was done, and it doesn't look like the bottom of the radius was done. It was just the top areas. Here, right here, radius is completely gone, and this is just not ever going to try and separate it. It's just going to go anyhow. Uh, but the bottom radius is open. Uh, there's some longitudinal cracks that were attempted to repair, and it was just probably material was just applied on top without opening it up. And you can see there's a diagonal one too. So that panel is definitely has cracks in it. Um, again. Bottom of the radius is open. Uh, this pile is cracked right here. That's the third pile. Some cracks on the, the cap area. Um, looking at the condition of the radiuses, they're all very old and were reapplied and applied over and over. And you can hear how hollow they are. So they're not really holding any water and soil, and especially not the bottom. see the, the fill soil on the bottom of that radius as well. It's kind of deep here, very quick. That's about four feet, five feet to the drop. Again, long, uh, horizontal crack in the panel and uh, age piles. Most of the radiuses are old, and there's nothing to release pressure from the seawall. There's absolutely no weed falls or anything that allows discharge of water. We're underneath the wooden dock, and as you can see, condition is poor. Uh, this dock currently is definitely not safe for uh, any kind of load, human or otherwise, maybe pits. But uh, you can see all the straps and everything is galvanized and it's all gone away it's all corroded and it's no longer functional uh, some of them are still okay but yeah it, 
general condition of the dock is poor. Uh, you can see the pilings here. This uh, concrete pile that was driven is at a, a 10, 10 degree angle and it's also in an angle inward. So definitely not the optimal condition. The rest of the pilings are straighter and there's some additional PVC pipes that were added and you can see they were just to allow some I really don't know why they're here actually they're not even connected so they're not supporting anything they're solid they are pretty solid so dock is definitely in a poor condition right now um, the lumber is definitely in a not completely gone, but you can see here all the brakes and uh, you could probably put some load on it, but I wouldn't go dancing on it. Um, continuing down, you could look, the ledger is still relatively okay, but look at the, the anchors, were not, they were not stainless, they were just regular mild steel anchors, and that's what happens when you put mild steel or even galvanized in salt water, it just goes, so these anchors are not really holding into the seawall, the ledger is not held, and uh, also the means of uh, attaching lumber to lumber, there was not even a continuous beam over here, so that's not good. Uh, continuing, the same repetitive thing on the seawall, uh, you don't really see, let's see here. see a lot of sediment loss except in the corner underneath the, the radiuses so I would just re-cement those. The seawall is definitely old and its time uh, is short. I don't think there's many many more years for the seawall to uh, stay as is. Probably it's going to need to be reconstructed in a few years but there's still a little time on it. Um, some preventative or it could be very advisable. Let's see again here the longitudinal cracks on the, the horizontal, sorry, horizontal cracks on the panel. These are hairlines. They repeat themselves everywhere and they were very... <laughs> this repair is basically just somebody came and swapped some, slapped some concrete on it. Um, same thing with the radiuses. Nothing was done on the, you know, bottom section of the seal on there for the all the erosion happens on the bottom corner of these filings. See, there's always sediment. And now we're coming into the area where you can see there the cap is damaged. Um, this last section is about you know, 20 feet long, and right here, the cap is separated. There's an attempt to repair it in a just fill it and it's not really structural otherwise doing anything. Uh, this filing here is, let's see, it's flipping on that. You can see the footer that was poured in this Somebody poured a footer in order to try and prevent but the seal is still loading very hard, so this is what happens. Is a, again, a horizontal crack in the second to last piling, and then this is the last piling on this property, and you can see it's completely open. Rebar is exposed on the cap, and this entire thing needs to be reinforced, and um, preferably with some tie back attachments to reinforce the wall. Uh, you can see how it's pitching an angle. And we're doing this is where the adjacent property is. And this is obviously a newer seawall. But you can see this even this is corner piling is all cracked. And some work was done on this side, but even that work because of the movement of the piling, the concrete is 
breaking off on, on the top radius here. Um, so this section of the seawall is definitely uh, showing some serious structural concerns. The water is deep here right now, even though it's kind of a low tide. Where I'm standing, it's about five feet, six feet. And uh, it's also a corner, so it gets a lot of wake activity. It's not closed. There's no concrete here in this area. And then this entire piling here has uh, deteriorated or has really fell inward. Uh, it's sunk, but you can see how bad this area is in, uh, under a lot of load. Being in a corner like this, uh, a lot of wake and a lot of water movement. So there's a lot of impact on this part of the wall. And also being the corner of the property, the drainage of the water, uh, there's no outlet for the water here. And uh, when that happens, all the pressure goes underneath the seawall and starts undermining. So, pictures show it all. This area of the seawall needs to be addressed right now and there's no guarantee that this structure would remain standing for a long time. Maybe you can extend it by a few years. But uh, in the long run, the seawall in the next three to five years needs to be redone. Okay, uh, this concludes our inspection of the dock and the seawall. Um, I think there's anything else we want to show. You can see a little shot of the dock on top. Um, this concludes our inspection. This inspection was done on the December 4th, 2014 in Eastern Shores, Florida by SMD. Thank you.